Good morning, Lower Pre. This is Miss Yoon. How are you? How are you, Louise? How are you, Ayanna? How are you, Evan? How are you, Charlotte? How are you, Terry? How are you, Frankie? How are you, Luca? I hope you all are having a great day. Today is Tuesday, and we are going to start with Good Morning Song. Ready? One, two, three. Good morning, good morning, good morning to you. Good morning, good morning, oh how do you do? Good morning to you, good morning to you. Oh, we're in our places with sunshiny faces. Oh, this is the way to start our new day. Days of the week, days of the week, days of the week, days of the week, days of the week. There's Sunday and there's Monday, there's Tuesday and there's Wednesday, there's Thursday and there's Friday, and then a Saturday. Days of the week, days of the week, days of the week, days of the week, days of the week. Yesterday was Monday, Memorial Day, Monday. Yesterday was Monday, all day long. Today is Tuesday, Tuesday, Tuesday. Today is Tuesday, all day long. Tomorrow will be Wednesday, Wednesday, Wednesday. Tomorrow will be Wednesday, all day long. Okay, we are going to read a book now. It's called, let me see you. What is the book called? You will find out soon. It's called The Past of Bomo by David A. Adler. Who was our first president? Mo Jackson's teacher asked. George Basketball, Mo says. Mo's teacher shakes his head. His name was George Washington, not George Basketball. Oh, silly boy. Oh, Mo said. He's not thinking about presidents. He's thinking about basketball practice. It's right after school. Look, right? The teacher's asking who's the first president, and he's not even thinking about it. He's more thinking about the basketball he's going to play. At practice, Coach Emma says, Mo, pass the ball. Mo passes it to Gail. It hits her knee and bounces away. Oh, no, no, Coach Emma says. Gail is taller than you. Throw higher. Yes, they are playing basketball, right? Looks like they're having fun. But... Mo trying to throw the ball, and then I think it's too low for another friend, Gail, to get. Everyone on the team is taller than Mo. Mo's team is the bees. Mo practices passing. He throws the ball against the wall. Throw it higher, Coach Emma tells him. So this is his team, and everyone's so tall, so I think Mo needs to practice harder to throw it higher. Mo throws the ball higher. Coach Emma blows a whistle. Beep, beep. Practice is done. The B's first game is Saturday. Mo walks home with his dad. I have to practice passing, he tells his dad. So, Mo follows the direction that the coach asked, throwing it higher. And the practice is over. Now he's going back home with the dad. And uh, Mo is telling dad, I need to practice passing. Mo practices with his dad. Pass the ball, Mo's dad says. 
His dad is even taller than Gil. Mo throws the ball high. Good pass, Mo's dad says. It's Saturday. Eat a big breakfast, Mo's mother says. Basketball players need to be strong. So I think it was a good practice for Mo because dad is taller, so he was able to pass it higher. And now the Saturday comes, and Mom asks Mo's to eat really well for being a strong boy. One by one, Mo tosses blueberries into his bowl of cereal. Each time a berry lands in the bowl, Mo says, "Yay! Two points!" He eats his breakfast. His mom and dad take him to the game. They sit in the stands and watch. The bees are playing the ducks. Mo and Eve sit on the bench and watch. Look at that. So while he is eating breakfast, he even practices with the blueberry, and he's throwing into the bowl, and he gets it into the bowl, and he gets excited. And now mom and dad drops him off at the game. And his friends Eve and Mo sat on the bench. The bees and ducks run from one end of the court to the other. So Mo's team's name is the bee, and the other team's name is the ducks. I like their names, right? They pass the ball. They shoot the ball. Sometimes it goes in, most times it doesn't. So they are playing game, and many of the balls go into the hoop. But sometimes, a lot of other times, it's not going in. But they're trying real hard, huh? Twit twit, beep beep. The first half is done. The ducks are winning twelve to one. I mean, twelve to ten. The second half starts. Mo and Eve are still on the bench. I need to rest. Sam tells Coach Emma. Go in, Coach tells Eve. So Mo's team is losing by two points, but uh, um, still uh, Mo sitting on the bench waiting for his turn with Eve, and one of the. Player says, "I'm tired. I need to rest." So now, coach asks Eve to play in the game. The game is almost over. The score is is Ducks eighteen, Bees eighteen. Ooh, they have a tie. The score's tied. Same score. I need to rest. Gail tells. Coach Emma, oh, Gail needs to rest, huh? Guess who's gonna go up next? Go in, Coach tells Mo. Mo runs onto the court. Hey, little one, the a duck says to Mo. I'm not little one. My name is Mo. The duck tells Mo, and I'm Big Max. So he Mo is finally get to play at the game. And his opponent is a really tall guy. Mo runs up and down the court. Big Max runs with him. Billy, Billy shoots the ball. It hits the rim and rebound to Mo. <gasps> Ooh! So Mo is really playing hard, running around to catch the ball. And finally, the ball gets into Mo's hand. Pass it, Coach Emma says. Pass it to me, Janet says. Pass it to me, Billy says. Big Max is in the way. So now he has the ball. He, everyone wants it. Wants him to pass the ball to them. I wonder what's gonna happen. Here goes, Mo says. He throws the ball high over Max's head. 
It's also over Janet's head. It's over Billy's head too. So Mo passes the ball high, but it didn't get to Janet and it didn't get to Billy. I wonder where it went. Let's see what happens. <gasps> the ball goes into the basket. Yay! Most parents and others cheer. Two points, Coach Emma shouts. <gasps> Look, Moe's throw the ball and it went right into the hoop. <gasps> he scored it for two points. Everyone is so excited. Beep, beep. The game is over. The bees win 20 to 18. This time, he, most team won by two points. The bees carry Mo on their shoulders. They carry him to his parents. Look, because Mo's long sh shoot and went into the basket. Now they won by two points. So, most team is 20 and the Ducks team is 18. Great shot, most parents tell him. But I was trying to pass the ball, Mo says. Coach Emma laughs. It was a very bad pass, but your bad pass won the game. Ooh, yes. So the coach says, even though you planned to pass it to somebody, it actually went into the basket. So it was really good for the team and we won. Good job, Mo. So that's the end of the book. How did you like the book? I loved it. It was really good. Playing basketball is fun. I think it's going to be fun for you as well. If you get a chance, please play too. And I liked that Mo tried really hard, practices really hard, because at the beginning of the story, he didn't do well with the drawing and drawing the ball higher. But because he practiced so much while he was with the dad and at the practice, and even while he was eating cereal, he, got, he was good at it. And in the end, he made a good end for the game because he actually made it to the goal, right? The ball went into the goal and the team won. Woohoo! Hooray! I like that. It's always good if we try really hard. It pays off. And you will be able to get a good result and you will be happy. Around you will be around you will be happy as well. So it's always good to try hard, right? Never give up. It's always good to try hard. Let's try to remember that and we always do it. Okay, it was fun to read a book with you. I hope you enjoy your day and I will see you tomorrow, the Wednesday. Bye-bye.